All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight in Vegas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins eight losses he stands five feet eight inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of boca raton florida presenting the challenger iron michael Chow! Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Tonight, we are in Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, DC. Be Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in Oh! Right. 
Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a punch advantage like this, DC. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, thought he might have had that. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Now connects with the right. Oh! Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Oh, nice, nice right here. McGregor gets hit with a kick. McGregor. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Flips. Oh! Oh, straight right! Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. 20 seconds left. from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugley out has called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by There it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? Are you crying? <laughs> I mean, almost. I, it's hard not to feel a 